Oh, hey, uh, let's put it this way. Yesterday at a Pittsburgh synagogue, a race, a, a neo-Nazi, if I will specify, killed 11 people and injured several others, including four police officers. Now, let's clarify on a few things. Trump is actually wanting the death penalty for this guy, this neo-Nazi. Despite the fact that he had called neo-Nazis a year ago, very fine people. Now, I could agree to that. I could agree that, yes, this guy should get the death penalty uh, for his racism and for his xenophobe for his, uh, well, well, I mean, obviously xenophobe because it was a Jewish synagogue. Synagogue. <coughs> well, you know what I mean. And it doesn't help that, uh, yeah, this guy has a history. But... Does he deserve the death penalty? I'm actually a, a little fixed about that. I would say yes, but at the same time, I cannot say I agree. Here's what I mean. What he did was yes, out of hate. This was a, like I said, this was a neo-Nazi who attacked a Jewish place of worship. For what reason? Let me put it to you this way. What has a Jew, you know, for all those neo-Nazis, what has a Jewish person ever done to you? I'm being honest here. So if a Jewish uh, synagogue is a place where you hate, just go right by it. If a black church offends you, just go right by it. You don't have to go and shoot it up just to prove your point. Because it results in bad things. And we're already seeing that. Alright, I mean, a few years ago we had Dave, Dylan Roof uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, who shot up a black church. <coughs> killed uh, nine people, nine black people, and was given the death penalty. There have been others. There have been a lot of mass shootings, but, you know, you have one in uh, Colorado, you had that one uh, lunatic who had shot up a movie theater, and he's already ser he's serving life in prison. Now, could, I, now I, I could be wrong, and if uh, Pennsylvania does have the death penalty, yeah, he might there is a great chance he will get the death penalty. But I feel like giving him the death penalty is barbaric. I'd rather see him rot in hell, well, rot in the prison cell for the rest of his life. Because what he did was indeed you know, out of hate. But it would be, <laughs> it would be benefiting the devil if we were to kill him for the fact that he killed these parishioners. Or however the Jewish pr pr uh, proclaimed parishioners, as a matter of fact. And here I am in, in front of a church. <laughs> okay, by the way. So. Do I agree that this guy needs to be punished? Yes. Do I agree that this guy did it out of hate? Yes. Do I think he deserves the death penalty? Not quite. Here's another thing. The day before, or should I say, the day of the shooting, Donald Trump and other Republicans were reciting the good old NRA talking point that a good guy with a gun can stop a bad guy with a gun. Now, let me clarify a few things here. One, this was a place of worship. Why should we have guns? Secondly, we, there were good guys with guns. And they got shot. Luckily, I think they're going to be okay, so, you know, nothing to worry about there. 
But on hindsight, yes, the bad guys did have a gun, and the good guys got shot by it. So the talking point is dead. Do I think that this should have happened? No. It didn't, it should not have happened, it should have been stopped. Just like the bomb, just like the Democrats getting the bombs, that, that was stopped. But this, this was not stopped. This was in dead, this was in said, caused by a person who wanted to fulfill his hate. Who wanted to feel the emboldenment of Trump's, uh, hatred. Of the blacks. Of Jews. Even though his stepson, his son-in-law, is a Jew. It just goes to show the hypocrisy of what the uh, GOP has done. And for those people who are blaming the Democrats, you're putting the blame on someone you don't want to have in office. Unfortunately for you, you have no ground to stand on. And no Jew is going to protect you from that. If only I could hit the... If only I could hit the stop button.